what is up guys? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It is currently about 5 p.m. in Thailand, which I think is like 3 a.m. Um, US time or something around there, but um, today's video, I wanna make this actually kind of like an inspiring and just kind of show you guys like, hey, this is what I did when I first started drop shipping, right? Like like when I was a beginner, and then this is kind of what I do now in terms of drop shipping, in terms of like day-to-day -day tasks, what I go doing on a daily basis. So hopefully to give you guys some insight to see like, okay, if you're a beginner, right, this is how I started off, this is how you might be doing things currently. And then you can see how I'm doing things now uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, just so you can realize like, hey, this is how I need to scale, this is how I need to structure myself because guys ultimately you are a business and you need to treat yourself like that right so your time is very very valuable and then you like you learning how to utilize your time most effectively and efficiently that allow you to not only you know scale your own businesses more but allow you to pursue multiple avenues right so that's the ultimate goal I'm assuming you guys um, have goals besides you know just drop shipping or having one drop shipping store okay so that's what I want to go about with this video and to kind of give you guys an overview of like hey this is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis when I first started out and then this is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis now um, in terms of drop shipping okay so we'll do that and I want to make this one a little bit like cinematic and cool um, to kind of like inspire you guys as well to get you guys you know after you watch this video to actually make you guys do something um, with drop shipping just so you guys can see like hey this this is actually really really what I want um, and that's how I want to go about things, alright guys? So let's just get into it, okay? That's our villa back there, and I'm currently at the second villa because there's more people over there, so it's kind of noisy um, over there with the soccer field in between. But I, again, guys, I apologize for the uh, the weird upload um, times and schedules and whatnot, but let's just get into the video, and I hope you guys enjoy, right? When you guys are a beginner, right, what did you do on a day-to-day -day basis? What I did on a day-to-day -day basis, and when you guys first start off, um, when you guys find like, you know, when you have to do everything yourself, right, when you're that, you know, um, man with many hats whatever they say right so uh, what I would do right I first wake up um, go about doing everything and I check emails respond to emails right you will be getting a lot of customer emails um, most importantly or you know primarily most customers are gonna be wondering hey where's my product um, or how long does it take to get my product right after they purchase stuff like that just because shipping times are usually the number one pain point for customers and that's why trying to eliminate that um, or ease that pain point right is is essential to actually you know converting on your website and getting you know customer kickback um, but you know with that loyalty that you can build um, if, if you can you know eliminate that pain point right so first thing I would do is check my emails respond to them and make sure you know everything's good because that's the one thing you don't want to get backed up on guys customer service is so so key because that is literally you interacting with people that either a want to give you their money or two have already given you their money right and those are two very very important things so if you if you can't do that well if you can't do that you know regularly then then that's an issue that you need to kind of work on right and even for me right when I first started off like I like I'll admit like I, I wasn't good at it I wasn't good at doing emails on a day-to-day -day basis especially with the amount of emails I was getting because you know with my first dropship tour I was doing 2,000 plus a day um, in volume so it's you know you I, I got a lot of emails and for you know an 18 year old kid um, getting that many emails it was it was pretty hectic right and so just trying to like staying on task and you know um, scheduling yourself and your time to actually hey I need to respond to these emails I need to make sure my customers are happy so they either one buy from me again or two decide to actually buy something from my site right so that's that's you know a very very important part now the next thing I would do is post to Instagram right because again with my funnel with you know how I structure things I would always be posting to the Instagram like posting to the gram all right so basically you know a product post lifestyle post again guys I brand my sites okay so when I'm branding my sites I create my own content I have photographers create my own con yeah photographers create my own content and everything like that just to increase you know uh, that branding and I have more control over how my brand is perceived and looked um, and how customers see that see that side okay so again I would post to Instagram um, and that that's just you know something you have to get used to daily because again consistency is key guys if you're always in front of your customers face if they always are seeing you if they always are thinking about you if you're always you know at the top of their head somewhere then they're ultimately more likely to think about you and purchase from you down the road okay now after that I would either hey I would be either you know paying for a shout out um, an Instagram ad something like that to get that exposure to drive to my Instagram page right so not only am I posting to my own page but I'm also you know contacting these influencers um, these themed pages all that kind of stuff to work out shout out rates ads all that kind of stuff and most of the time I'm doing it beforehand so you know I'll talk to them a few days in advance and schedule that um, to happen you know on, on certain days but again again you're scheduling it like post every single day so that's something that goes in your daily task is hey you got to work out your shout outs your ads when they go live um, all that kind of stuff okay and then after that I would either check or make a Facebook ad right so most of the time it was checking a Facebook ad, right? But especially in the beginning phases, like very, very beginning phases, guys, I wasn't always um, either checking or even making Facebook ads. And most of the time it was very, very Instagram heavy, um, especially, you know, with just how I go about things. So again, 
that's uh, that's another thing I do in my day to day. I guess like especially you know like not a beginner, but you know trying to slowly start scaling. That's kind of where I went into Facebook ads and trying to start pushing Facebook ads. All right. Then after that, I would check my Shopify backend. You know, it's kind of cool to <laughs> look at your daily sales. Uh, I mean, it's not cool if it's zero, but um, when you are starting to generate volume, guys, that's that's it's just cool. To, you know, hey, I'm checking my you know my dashboard. Um, there's you know today's sales, blah blah blah. Making sure you know the abandoned carts are going out, whatever it is. Um, Make sure everything's functioning, right? Just you know, just a, a casual checkup um, on your site, right? And then right from there, I would go to start fulfilling my orders. Okay, that's probably the most time-intensive task besides emails is labor or, uh, order fulfillment, not labor fu order fulfillment. Okay, so that's probably the most time-intensive task, which will you know, um, depending on volume, can take quite a bit of time. You know, one, two, three hours a day sometimes, depending on just how many freaking orders you got. Um, so again, guys, that's that's something that you know takes a big chunk of your day of your time that I would do every. Every single day uh, I think for a few of my stores or when I was just drop shipping in the beginning phases I would do you know once every other day um, it's not a huge deal but that's just something I did uh, so I could you know allocate more time to certain things and certain projects um, and then after that I would post to Instagram yet again because for my sites I would usually post twice a day to my Instagram brand pages um, again I just want to be on the top of my customers mind um, as often as possible without kind of spamming them or like shoving anything down their throat so it'd be you know about twice 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 a day okay guys so in terms of like daily stuff for you know a beginning dropshipper that's kind of what it looks like in terms of you know what you do daily for your drop shipping stores right i apologize for any background noise guys i am outside um our villa here in thailand but now for pros right or like for pros like people that have been in the game a while people that have multiple sites people that are scaling you know um 50 000 plus a month something like that like what do you do day to day right um and again it, it varies for person to person me i me personally guys um especially if you know me for a while i like to get myself fired quote unquote fired um from all of my businesses right there's a freaking rooster um roaring not roaring but making noise in the background but um again guys how i like to structure my I, I, I'm pretty sure you guys can hear that rooster, okay? So, how do I, <laughs> how, how do you know, pro structure the time? Again, it's a lot for different people, but again, with me, I like to get myself fired, quote unquote, fired um, from all my projects and businesses that I start. And what does that mean exactly? It, it literally means like I wanna build something up, right? And then I wanna be able to step back from it and not look at it, and it still, you know, produce. You know the same results or even more results right I, I wanted to be able to produce results without me being there right so that's why I'm quote unquote firing myself from the business so I can go start something else while I have like a current project that's already making revenue for me right so that's how I like to do because I value my time very very much that's you know I value that more than anything um, and you guys should too okay so how how you know how does a pro actually go about doing it and again there's a lot less task and I'll, I'll show you guys why so basically um, what I will do is I will just you know wake up um, Anytime during the day, really, I'll just make sure I check my back ends, right? Daily sales, whatever they are, um, just make sure everything's, you know, flowing again like that. It's, again, I don't even do that daily. Um, it's just kind of like, hey, if I'm on my laptop, I'll go give it a glance, right? Um, what I really, really do daily is I check messages from my virtual assistants, right? And this is something that I have set up that I notice not many people do, especially the way I do it, guys. So I have a lot of virtual assistants doing different things, okay? And then what I really do well that most people didn't think about, and I don't know why, is that I have a virtual assistant that manages all my other virtual assistants, okay? So again, I, I, I want to get myself fired. Like, I don't want to be, like, a manager of my business. I don't want to be an employee of my own business because, again, that you're not really a business owner if, if you know, you're, you're, you're an employee for, for your own business, right? So I have a bunch of VAs doing different stuff. I have a virtual assistant for order fulfillment. I have a VA for emailing customer service. I have a VA for posting to Instagram. Um, all this kind of stuff, right? So now that like just those three VAs that eliminated three of the things that I do daily when I was you know starting out dropshipping, that that right there takes out three tasks that I don't need to do every single day now. Right? Do you guys see how like I'm trying to free up my time? Right? And I want you guys to be able to like do the same with that, right? So. Again, what I'll do on a daily basis now is, hey, if I get a message from a, from from my manager of my VAs, so my VA who's managing my VAs, I'll, I'll keep in touch with him, right? I don't even talk to my VAs that are actually doing the order for me all that kind of stuff, right? When again, before I got the manager, I did talk to them. I had to train them. I had to, you know, tell them exactly what to do, all that all that kind of stuff, right? But now, once they know how to do it, I have a manager who just stays in touch with them. And if anything goes wrong, if there's an issue, if anything happens, that's when the manager will message me, guys. So that's what I'm on the lookout for daily in terms of like drop shipping, right? With those stores like hey if something goes wrong if there's an issue you know ordering or with payments or uh, with product with Instagram anything like that then my manager will message me and then it's me you know actually spending my time on my own job shipping site right so there's that and then 
in terms of like Facebook ads, right? Because I don't trust a virtual assistant to make Facebook ads for me or anything like that. Um, most of the time I will make my own Facebook ads, okay? And then I'll kind of set them back. And then me personally, I don't have a VA that manages my ads, but I have people that I know locally in my area that are very good with Facebook ads that they just kind of like moderate in a sense. So they just keep an eye on them for me. They don't really change anything, don't do anything. I, I like, because again, I, I'm a control freak when it comes to my businesses. I want complete control over everything, right? So again, with that being said, I want to be able to control my Facebook ads and make my Facebook ads like myself okay so I have someone to moderate them and keep an eye on them so if anything changes if there's a huge price change in any of my conversions or objectives that I'm aiming for then they'll let me know and then I can come in um, you know retarget re, re, you know tweak um, to, to, to fix right so again guys that's that's the little video on just you know day-to-day -day stuff uh, beginners versus you know quote unquote pros or just you know people who have been in the game a while and that's kind of what I do in terms of my drop shipping stores right and what that means is that hey I, I have so much more free time now that I can focus on all these other projects right I can focus on YouTube I can focus on my software business my SaaS businesses um, creating all these new projects and like interacting with new people um, and just you know diversifying uh, my, my income streams my business life and just you know increasing what I know about certain industries right so that's what I do um, now and that that's why I, I love drop shipping I preach drop shipping because it's one it's the easiest you to get into and then two you know once you diversify guys like you can use that money and funnel into the new projects and new creative things that you guys want to do with your lives because I'm sure not all you guys want to be you know um, own one dropshipping store and like retire off of dropshipping 